Hello everyone and welcome back to part 11 of my Pokemon campaign for Worm 2. In the last episode, in case you haven't seen it yet, if I just bring up my handy map, we have started to make steps into Mesopotamia, where the only remaining province left to capture is Charax. Uh, we also got to deal with Media Magna, and we've just had a giant battle against a Chimerian force, which has left us quite badly depleted, and unfortunately means I believe Colchis is on the flank on my board is ready to try and attack the region of Mexherta, if I pronounced that correctly. So, two wars, two different fronts. We've got two armies heading towards each one. So, should hopefully be okay. We've got. So, we've got here we have Helene's Faithful, led by my faction leader, Philatas. We're going to use him, I think, to. Is it worth me trying to go after Media actually? Because they're right here. Uh, we'll come back to that. We're going to take on Chalax, I think, and get Media Atropatine. Unfortunately, it means they're going to have them as an enemy. But it's okay. Alright. We'll declare war in the next turn, I think. Well, they might get pissed off for me for now, but at least I can get a sneak attack in, I think. Fat. Let's just move a little bit closer. They should hopefully not try and attack me next turn because I haven't declared war on them yet. So that's all well and good. I did have a another army... Where are we? Yes. Demons of Polemos. You were on your way down here actually to help out. Although actually we're gonna... We're gonna re-insign you. Let's put you into Force March and bring you up to here. Reason why is because in the last battle, last episode I should say, we had quite a large battle here in Meseta and my armies have taken quite the beating. So not the best opportunity for me but we are going to kill these off because if I remember right the army came from down here in Gabala which means that it should be pretty, pretty open to attack so we'll bring that down. Yes, we can deal with that next turn, actually. I think. Uh, let's have a look. Yes, zero. No garrison. That would be handy indeed. Alright, we need to try and... Oh, yeah, that's one of their spies. Colk, you've already done your work for this turn, I think. Uh, so we can eliminate... Okay, well, what to do as well is set a war coordination target on Colchis. We've got some enemies of Trapezos troops right by their things, so hopefully it will threaten them enough to get them away from there. Uh, we've got some things to do as well in the area, so... Oh, actually, we've got... yeah. We've got a homestead we're going to build up here. Might as well take advantage of the fact that we've got a farm in town, which gives us 6% wealth to agriculture. Um, that's... going up slowly, but surely. Alright, Salukia, so we will give you... You're not... How many are you doing for public order, actually? Okay, the culture's going up slightly. And... That gives me culture, that gives me... Food. And... Okay, we will turn this into... Which one deals with culture? Uh, Sacred Grove, no. Sign of Aries, no. No. No, no. Uh... Oh, here we go. 5% wealth from culture. So, Shrine of Athena is going to be built here. Uh, we'll build that up as well. That should be okay for the moment. Alright, here I wanted to build up... Where are we? Shri the Shrine of Asclepius. As part of the uh, thing, we are trying to follow the not only a military victory, but also trying to do some of the objectives because it's quite handy to try and get some of the cash. So we also have to com get completely control of Syria, which means eventually taking on the uh, Slukids. And Mesopotamia, which also means taking on the Slukids a bit, and also trying to finish off getting Caucasus down here. And second one then is get to the Basso Eclipse, which gives me three and a half thousand. So hence why I'm building it. Once I get the whole city built out, I can see then about changing it to something else. Because 
we haven't got we got just a couple more growths to go for I think uh, anything else we need to do before we can end the turn I don't think I've got really the cash to do much else I'm afraid uh, I did tell my army didn't I to head north where are they yes I have okay so let's end the turn Oh, I forgot about my spy. Ah, uh, slick hits, no. inspired us in our wisdom. I suggest that you too should listen to her counsel in this matter. No, I am going to take them out, you see, because what I want to click here, here, I've well, mainly just because I want to try and capture the whole Mesopotamia for myself, and because I want to get Egyptus, which is one of the military victory conditions for the Pergamon. And as you can see, they've managed to capture it themselves. So I do need to fight them at some point. Hopefully when my armies are built are finished up here, because we also got to deal with the Chimerians. So we're going to have to make allies with the Royal Scythia again, I think. Broken treaties with Pergamon and the cultural version. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's something else. Um, yeah, no, I don't want to have military access. I struggle to see wisdom in this decision, and fear this could lead right. to misunderstandings. So yes, part of the grand plan is I don't want to expand too far north or east. I want to find a nice border with the nearby surrounding factions, and then I can focus then on the other areas as necessary. Oh, good, they are actually. Colchis has just fought off an army over the. Uh, Trapezos have retreated, or hopefully it's meant that I actually managed to get some... They wounded them a bit. Hi. Temple design's finished, great. Okay. Pergamon... Okay. So I need to defeat a fleet belonging to the following faction in battle, Colchis. Alright. Uh, let's first of all bring my spy back. Uh, Part of the grand plan is to come back here. I don't want to go any further on this battlefront here, this region I should say. I don't want to go any further east and towards Parthia and Carmania because I've got a nice little border along those two provinces once I get that far. So I need to try and see, is it worth trying to make an alliance with Bactria maybe? Or at least a non-aggression pact is what I'm after. Enter friend Let's see. and speak. Moderates? Nope. No. Last right. night the earth shook as Tell the what, gods I'll moved. offer you some payments. It was a warning of Try terrible 700. danger. No. no temple can stand upon just two right. pillars. We cannot agree. Come on, one thousand. Nope. No. Last night the earth shook as the gods moved. Okay. It was a warning of terrible danger. Come on, I'm quite steadfast. You know I'm going to be pretty honest with this. All right, I'll tell you what, we one see last some one. gain for your people, but little for ours in such an arrangement. So we must refuse you. What gain have I got? I'm not trying to attack you. Okay, so Yesterday they don't want to do that. I saw many. Pafia, what about you? Greetings. Oh, I've got an honor question. Are you ready? Soon. Great. And Wagner. Hmm. You're in Perseus, but to be honest, I have no real need to attack you. Hmm. Welcome, friend. Welcome. Uh, hang on, you're a satrapy of the Seleucid, so I may have to take you out anyway. Although you're at war with Media Atropatene, Arachnosia, Egypt, Slaves, Kuji, and. Pavala, right. I might be able to use the Egyptian bit to my advantage shortly. Right. Okay, let's bring my spy back to my lands. We'll bring her down here. Right. We'll just keep him there for now, I think. We'll. Bring these up to here. Can I actually get any more armies? Just thinking about it. Uh, politics summary, will we? And get two more armies. Okay, that'd be pretty handy. 
Right. So let's go back to where I'm considering my sort of state, you know, army station points, points, just mainly because I've got the facilities here to get quite a number of different units. Alright, so we're we gonna go. We've got. Okay, your part of my wonder is gonna cost me some influence. We will go. Uh, you're pretty good. Plus 5% wealth, not bad. You got all these, but I've got Eastern Culture Influence, which I don't particularly want. You're pretty good. Uh, what about you? All of you have got quite good abilities compared to these guys. Hmm. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go for this guy. Start him off young. And he's going to have, as a bodyguard unit, the Royal Hellenic Riders. Give me some cavalry to start with. Alright, let's start move. Let's actually move him to Persinus. You can then recruit along the way, you see? So, first things first, I want some pikemen in the center. It's costing me a little bit more, but actually, it should have. Uh, oh, yeah. Tax house in 19%. That's pretty good. But can we got anything regarding noble philanthropy? That would do okay. One of the problems with Pokemon is that they have to pay an extra 10% recruitment cost for all their units. So having it, that particular edict, which allowed me minus 15%, but help me out a little bit. Might be only 5%, but every little bit helps, doesn't it? Okay, I believe. Was it, does it say something about someone going up a lag? Maybe not. Uh, what we got? Construction, that's just been done. Hmm. That could be handy. Uh, what else can we got there? 6% from wealth. Uh, not too much about that. 2% wealth from all commerce. Tight with agreements. Hmm. Actually, we want to get some more here, so. Siege tower, defensive or attack? We'll go for a battling ram for the moment, I think. Yes. Okay, so that's that. Four more turns for this. Yeah, Colchis are now going back to being a fortified position right there. Oh, managed to get the money back from there at least. Gonna up a bank. Okay, let's just take this. Alright, occupy it. Alright, and I'll need to convert these over in the next turn, I think, but... What's this actually? Plus four public order per turn, 60 wealth from agriculture. Uh, we will actually de cancel this. I need to... Build up the. I want to build up the Hellenic culture a little bit. Plus, I have a handy idea to try and turn this into more of a mining industrial facility. So, it is handy with the food though. I'll have to come back to that. But the gold, gold combined with perhaps a shrine of Hephaestus would actually help me out quite a bit. I think. Hmm. There's 5% wealth for mining. I wonder if it includes the fact of Gabala, even though it's in a different province. In a different, you know, settlement in the province. Something to consider. Okay, these guys are slowly gaining their thing back. Alright. Okay, let's end the turn again. Oh, Pelagius and Philly. Okay, Pelagius was my hero, I believe. He was up here. Is he this one or the other army I had? Ah, uh, this one. Okay, so you were a war hero. So, Paragon, Valor... Uh, we're gonna go with Valor. What I try to do, in case you haven't seen any of the early episodes, is I try and look at what their main skill is, which is war hero. 
in this case because we can't pick this, that skill. And some people are saying, oh, you, you know, because you can pick whichever skills you want. It's not as really as exciting as the old ones where they actually earn skills. So I try to at least follow for this let's play anyway. So we've got the war hero. So what sounds more like a war hero? A bloodthirsty one with a zealous thing, which is granted quite handy with hero. Or something involving Valor, for example. I mean, War Hero and Valor to me goes pretty hand in hand, especially when it says Tales of Valor and Glory. Uh, so we've got that one and the Spy as well, wasn't it? Okay, you were a poet, a spy, and reconnaissance, fortuitousness. He. I'm gonna go for fortuitousness, I think. Uh, it's end of turn. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what Colchis is doing. I have a b feeling that they're trying to build up an army in Phasis. Then they have, from what I've explored in one of the earlier episodes, I know they've got just troop building facilities there, which means for both archers and for sort of the hand to hand ones, so to speak. So I've got quite a large number of them. It probably explains why they've got 16 garrison troops. And the Camerio, now what are you doing? Oh. Okay, so you decided to try and lay siege. Right. Should better last out for a little a couple of turns, I think. Uh if Setsman is under siege, rather supplies her or face starvation or maybe Fort Capel to. Okay. They've been found. They lost some attrition. They lost some food. Uh, surrender is imminent. Okay. Uh. Okay, so I need to actually go out, leave and attack. But it does look like they've got the advantage, and I haven't got any armies I can bring up in such a close period of time. Okay, we can deal with this though. Right. Okay, uh, media's finally been destroyed. Okay. Alright. Media Atropatene have now getting involved as well. Okay, first of all, let's try and work our way up to it. We've got... You make your way here. Right. Oh, you've land you gone in that territory, have you? Ah, useful. Tell you what, I'll bring you straight back here, actually. Right. Okay, you got the homestead, so we're gonna bring this up to herding grounds. You are gonna be a shrine of Festos because of the mining facilities and industry wealth. Right. I don't wanna we're actually gonna bring these back, I think. I don't want particular at the moment, I don't really want to bring them to war yet because of the fact that I've only got the one army down here. Whereas they've got all of the land there, as well as they started taking things into the Seleucid Empire as well. So I'd rather. Well, I've got three armies up here. I'd rather try and bring them all to here as much as possible. Alright. I'm going to have to keep these here because I have a feeling the Chameleons might come and attack from Samada. So. Right. I've got no armies that are close by, so I will have to try it. If I want to actually... Uh, I don't really think because the, my troops have been quite badly hurt, but I have no choice, it seems. Okay, this, is gonna, this isn't going to go too well. We're going to try and poison them a bit. Just to try and knock them down a bit, so to speak. Right. Okay, uh, what do they suffer from? Can't reinforce it. And uh, they got quite a few knockdowns, including their general, which. 
hopefully we'll be a bit to advantage. The Carter the Axeman. Okay. Alright, one thing I'm going to have to do, I think, is I'm going to try and merge my troops a bit. So, if we take these two, for example, and hit Control F, we now got one full one. Okay, same with these. These. Alright, unfortunately, we can't actually hire mercenaries either, which could have helped out a bit. Okay, we'll get these together as well. Okay, so we're now locked down to 15 groups, but then we've got at least some better like, units of men here. Right, let's check their forces, what they have. Okay, Chameleon Cav... Okay. So we've got Axemen, which ain't too bad in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Dread of Spearmen, some Peltasts. Horse Archers, which are going to be a kill bother to try and get. Rid of some Hoplites. Okay, I think we can manage this just about. So if we'll tell them to attack. Alright. Uh, we're not going to bother when I attack, we're just going to go straight for it. So. Garrison's going to help out a little bit. It's not going to be much use, I think, considering the size, but you never know. In fact, we so far we outnumber them by about 100 men. Well, uh, just hit this and see how we do. I think one of the main things I will try to do if I can is to eliminate the general as quickly as possible. Once I've done that, hopefully that will cause enough morale problems with the other units that it will cause them to be able to run away a lot quicker. Although I could be basing this plan so far just on the fact that I've been playing at quite a bit of Attila recently. Which, anyone who knows, is your first tier of units are very affected quite deeply by the death of the general. So your priority, at least for the beginning sections, is to actually kill the general as quickly as possible. So maybe that's more to base my plan on, but I'm hoping between three units of cavalry, which between them make about a unit and a half, just hopefully, hopefully be able to at least get some kills in. So, I try deployment, and I believe I'm the one on the offensive, so we... Alright. Okay, we're gonna get pikemen, hoplites, and... Hoplit yeah, hoplites and that here. Just put these in the front line. Let's get these ready. And that and that. Right. Singers behind them. As you command. With that off. Okay. Um. All right, what have we got? Noble blood cavalry, heavy melee, light archers. Okay. All right, we'll bring the troops here on this side. I think we'll try and use. The Greek infantry to hide, hide off any attacks from cavalry. Although, actually, no, we'll put them here. I think we'll put cavalry these into a group. Alright, general, you can hide behind the archers, actually. They're slingers. Alright. Oh, actually, I've got two units of these, haven't I? Put you into your own group. Let's put you both here, ready to go. Right. You guys into a group, sorry. Citizen cavalry. Citizen cavalry, come here. Their plan is very simple, to kill the general. Right, that hopefully will give me a bit of an edge because of the extra charge bonus and melee attack. Right, not the best army plan in the world, but we can do it. Okay. Start bringing them off to attack. Right. Okay, my reinforcements have arrived. Not that we've got too many, are they going to be much use, but... Right. Okay, let's just tell them to all... 
force march here, I reckon. Okay. Uh, Alright. We're gonna send these straight through the middle, I think. Try and distract them a bit, force them to break apart. Okay, in fact, all my army won. Okay, we're going to formation, try. Okay. Since the cavalry, I know this is going to be a sacrifice for you, but you need to take out the general as quickly as humanly possible. Alright, they're starting to take some attacks from the horse archers. Alright. So let's take them into these. Alright. Okay. Alright, you guys onto that one. Alright. Form phalaxes, everyone. Okay, you guys start to charge. Okay. Cavalry, you need to get them out of here. Alright. Fat, bring you guys into these. Okay, I, in the meantime, slingers, take out the horse skirmishers. Without carefully heading too far forward to actually uh, to gain engage in close combat with the enemy. Alright. You guys are attacking there nicely. Okay. What are these Eastern Spears, Horse Archers? No, uh, they're not. Okay, so start trying to eliminate these. Alright. Okay, I think I lost some of the cavalry just then. It's annoying, but oh well. Okay, Ashley, bring you guys into this. You guys, what are you guys? Okay, this isn't going to go too well, but charge the Eastern Spearman with my mob. Mishler Hoplites, bring you guys here ready to attack. Okay, that's it. Cause these to waver. Okay, slingers. Bring you out here to attack. You guys need to charge into the back as well. Right. Heavy pikes, make your way over. Throw yourself in there. Fat, all three of you. There you guys there. Okay, slingers. Right. Okay, the mob managed to fight them off. Wow. Okay, let's take these guys now to the back of the Hoplites attacking here. General, where general, where are you? Okay, bring you back. Okay, you guys aren't doing too well against these. Right. Let's try and cause these to take some losses, that's it. Alright, Slingers, attack the Pell Tests. Okay, second wind here. Inspire these. Alright. Okay. Take these guys into these. These and these. Okay. Alright, so let's get these to retreat a bit. Alright.
Come on, get over here, get them in the range of influence. Great. Right. You guys start making your way into the Eastern Spearmen here. Slingers, come back off. Kill the general. Right. Fat. Do that. Anyone who isn't fighting at the moment. Right. Slingers. Take out these. Where is the general? Have I not killed him yet? Okay. We need to start getting these to retreat. Alright, one. Where has their general disappeared off to? I could have swore he was around here somewhere. Cartelier, Essman, Easter Spears, Hoplites. Okay, you guys deal with these from behind. Alright. You guys, don't worry about that. Just come after them. Okay. Let's bring my general over here to help out. They may actually win this, believe it or not. It'd be quite impressive if I do. Okay, Slingers, attack the Cartelier Axeman. Right. I have no idea what happened to the General, but... Okay, I haven't killed him yet. One of our units has used all its ammunition. No, I haven't killed anyone yet, him yet. Okay, let's uh, inspire my own troops. Right. Oh good, we've now got a victory. Great. Unfortunately, I can't really do much against trying to knock them down because we don't exactly have much in the way of cavalry troops. One of our units has used all its ammunition. So, if any of my s happen to have any of my slingers ready to use weapons, then by all means, feel free to join in. Right. Fast forward this a bit now. We haven't got enough troops so I don't have to wait too much. Okay. I still have no idea what happened to the uh, general because he sh Last I saw he was dying, but costly victory. Oh, and I got an achievement. Legatus Legionus. Yeah, that'll be ha worth having a look, I think. Anyway, let's have a quick look at this. We lost 973 so we only have approximately 700 left so we killed 1229 oh, not too bad we did lose our cavalry which is unfortunate Thing and probably a number of our other units but we've managed to hold them back and of course they're going to retreat now they've lost quite a number of their own troops and then hopefully now my third army, which is coming up from the south, will be able to take out Colchis once and for all. So that's so yeah, I'm, could have gone on obviously a little bit better, I think, considering the amount of troops I've probably lost in this army now. I mean, they were pretty good levels as well. Thing, but hopefully, I mean, especially with my Greek infantry up here and the pikes. I'm hoping they might have just about enough troops to be able to survive and not be have to be disbanded down to enemy numbers. I always find those a shame personally. I mean, I remember having some units in Rome and that, which might only have, say, six units, but six people. But they were so high experience that it was worth trying to get them back. And even if I'm filling them up with another unit, so that other unit will benefit from their higher experience. But at least I managed to keep the town, even if it was a... P p uh, pirate, there, yeah, pirate victory. Right, so we lost the Elgus. We lost the cavalry, but we managed to keep all the others just about. Okay, there's no way in hell I'm gonna give them the captives back so they can die. So now he's gonna provoke as well. Perfect. Right. 
next turn, Colchis is mine. Although I think that might have to be in the next episode, actually. Uh, we'll quickly finish off this turn, I think. We'll expand that. We were going to make a consecrated ground. Is it worth getting rid of this yet? Because I've got seven lots of food available there. Uh, let's have a quick look what else we've got to do around here. Hmm. All commerce. That's 200 wealth. That'd be handy. Let's go for that. Uh, not yet. Hi. Actually, what's here? That can maybe go up eventually. Right. Uh, that will have to go up, I think. Alright. I think that's everything done now for this turn. Right. Oh, I need to do them as well, sorry. So, let's see. Come here. Post defenders. We managed to hold the town pretty well. So, we'll put that up. And formidable spears, or possibly artillery, skirmishes, charge bonuses, conquerors. Hmm. Four tier garrison, keepers of the peace, and Star Wars City Defenders. We will go, I think, for Star Wars City Defenders, in honor of the fact that they managed to defend the city. As I said, maybe not the most flimsiest things, but there you go. Um, we can also get a unit of riders, so we're going to do that. Let's get some citizen cavalry. Alright, fortunately this means we're going to have a lot of turns now to try and replenish our forces again. Actually, not too bad, only four, five... Okay, so not too bad. So anyway, and... oh, Fortina as well. Fortina, where are you? Oh, right. Uh, this is pretty easy, I think. Overseer, we're going to boost us up. Give a bit more money from taxes. And assuming nothing bad happens then, we will bring this episode to an end. Anyway, the question I might be asking everyone for this week is, as well as I've been asking people about if they what happened to watch these videos and you want to give me some advice on how I can improve my videos, whether it's commentary style or anything like that or more battles, let me know in the comments of the video and I will shall endeavour to try and improve upon them in the future. Uh, and in particular as well, if you are playing Attila, which as you notice I've just started a let's play as the Ostrogoths, then I wouldn't mind he hearing back from you guys, how are you enjoying the game? Thing. I've heard a lot of people wondering if it's going to be any bad compared to uh, when Rome 2 come out, but it seems pretty alright to me so far, so let me know your thoughts on it and who you're playing as, how well do you think you're doing? It's always nice to hear back from the other, uh, you know, other Total War fans. Otherwise, I think that will be it, actually. Yes, that'll be it for this turn. So, as usual, thank you for, uh, for watching, I hope you liked it. Feel free to hit the like button, make any comments you feel to, or if you feel that I am adding to your YouTube experience, then hit the subscribe. Otherwise, again, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.